Now from the home of the Rays, Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Seattle Mariners and the Tampa Bay Rays. It's Rays baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Juan Medeiros will be the starter for the Rays in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, you can only make your first Major League start one time, and boy, did he make the most of it. How about he starts his first game and he gets a win? Not a bad way to start your career off. And he's going to try to make it two for two and try to win this one today. Now to the plate, number 25. He will Leading lead this one off today. Seattle, the second baseman. Ready number to 25. deliver. Here's the first pitch. And we are underway from Tampa as the first pitch of the afternoon is taken pitch, for ball one. And guys, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, man, nothing they'd like to do more than to salvage this one, d -Roll. After this one, they go on the road for a seven-game road trip, so big to get this win here today. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. A ah, nice piece of hitting right there. When you're facing a young blood on the mound, young starting pitcher, you want to get him into the stretch as quick as possible. You want to see how he handles the moment, see if maybe you can run on him. A lot of things going to open up with this next at bat. Into the box now, Domingo Santana. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Medeiros is sort of a curious case as a starter. Usually doesn't walk many guys, but at times he ends up giving up his share of hits. The translation on that is that he throws a lot of strikes, but oftentimes they are hittable strikes. One of the keys, Matt, you'll have to watch from this guy. At, at times he kind of tiptoes, he tap dances around the strike zone. He has good stuff, but when he falls behind an account, he tends to nibble a little bit. And then when he brings the ball into the strike zone, and when he does, he becomes much more predictable. And what happens with that? The hits per nine innings tend to go up. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. And here's a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Seattle Mariners. Danny, who stands right out to you? Well, one man worth focusing on is Edwin Encarnacion. Edwing, as they call him. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories, slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. A ball and no strikes. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north-south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. And this is going to find the seam as it scoots through on the carpet for extra bases. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch that all cool. year with runners in scoring position, Randall. and he does it again here with a Richard. double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. Now at the plate, Rendell Gritchick. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. He's ready. Here's the first hey. offering. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Henniger leads off second with one gun in the inning. Line toward the gap in left center. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. That is fifth. The first baseman, number 10, Edwin. Ready now, Edwin Encarnacion. And the Mariners trying to make this first inning even bigger here. First delivery to him on the way. No, that's Too low, 1-0. Oh. This is line to left. Pham is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Mariners pick up a run on the RBI double. Bottom of the first coming up, and the M's are off to an early 1-0 lead. 
Jesse Biddle is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mariners. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you take a look at that ERA, and it's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start and creeping back down. He definitely needs to the start pitching base. a lot better than he has up to this point, and it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. Fellas, the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. They come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Maddie, this is the big one right here. They split the first two games of this series. You want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself. Yeah, Dero, I think one of the things you want to do, you get to the third game, you'd like to win this series and finish it off by winning game three. It's always nice to win a series, whether it's at home or on the road. So this is a big one for this ball club. Now a moment here in St. Pete for a glance at the race starting lineup who stands no after you Danny well I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third he's really swung the bat well against left-handed pitchers so far this season he's hitting over 300 against southpaws and he's facing another one of those today I'm sure he's excited to hit in this one so next to the plate for Tampa Bay Avisail Garcia as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League there's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Ready with the 0-1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there, that backdoor slider. That's a very difficult pitch to throw, and particularly throw for a strike. Just missed that outside You're corner right. right there, but a good pitch and a tough take there by the hitter. Looking for back-to-back -back Ks to start the game. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. The main job of the number one and two hitters is Batting to set third. the middle of the order up no with an opportunity to do some Dummy. damage. So when you strike both there. of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. At the plate, Tommy Pham. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. And that misses for ball one. Pham is certainly known in part for power at the plate, in particular in these types of matchups against a left-hander on the mound. Yeah, because he knows that lefty can't get inside on him. What a comforting feeling you know it is as a hitter when that pitcher has nowhere to go on the inner half of the plate. Two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The short hit hard. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Yeah, definitely not the execution you're looking for to pull an outside breaking the ball, but who cares? Man. Next day's Thanks box group. score, that's a line Thank drive. Stepping in now, Jesus Aguilar, as he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. And he fouls this one off. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Ray Strand just the one. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The designated hitter, Ryan. First pitch Healy. on its way. Curveball looked at here for strike one. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. The one one. Hot shot on the ground is short. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second. 
Okay, here's how the race set up on defense today. The catcher. And let's focus Omar. our attention on catcher Omar. Travis Darno. He's going to have to step up today and have a big game for these guys. Not known necessarily for his defensive acumen, more of a big pop guy on the offensive side. He has got to control this game. Now at the plate, Omar Narvaez, as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. First delivery to him on the way. Ripped down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that, that he was thinking too the third right out of the box. Kyle. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle there. Seeger, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Navarez, the runner at second with one away. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. And it's gone. A two run home run off the bat of Kyle Seeger, number 197 in his career, and the M's have taken a 3 0 lead. Wow, he really hit that ball well. Put a great swing on it with great extension, and it sailed right out of here. That again. And now, Tim Beckham. Tim. Nope. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. He comes in with 16 home runs on the season so far. Hey. A ball and a strike. He's been getting lit up all game, and there's a common denominator. He keeps missing right down the middle of the plate. Case in point with that last one. One and two, the count to the Mariners shortstop. Now a ball hit hard toward first. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. Now that Wow, he almost blew that fastball by him, but he shows some quick hands to catch up to it and drive it down the opposite line. Didn't keep it fair by much, but he did, and that's a nice two-bagger. Into the box, number 25. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. One for one after a single this first time up. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Wendell ranges back and he has it for out number two. Striding in once again, oh, Domingo Seattle. Santana. Runner in scoring field. position with two guns. First offering on its way. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Sent on the ground out to second. Wendell fields it cleanly. Throw over to Aguilar at first to take care of him to end the inning. Mariners get a couple in the inning on the two-run home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 3-0 Seattle. And that'll bring in Yandy Diaz. He's back in the Ray. starting lineup for this the one after baseman. sitting out last Yandy. night's game. Hey, we're still in the yeah. early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Ball one to start the at-bat. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. Mm, just reached back and threw a high fastball right by him. He didn't stand a chance. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Drives it the other way to deep right. Henniger ranging back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Okay, here's how the Mariners are going to line up defensively. The designated hitter. And guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them 
that they're a better team defensively, moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. Into the box now, Daniel Robertson. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh Robertson is just shy of six feet at 5'11", a right-handed batter and thrower. He's in his third season as a major league player. But there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Seven, seven. So bases the are empty record. here with two gone. Seven. And up next, the catcher, seven, Travis seven. Garno. First pitch of the at-bat. Fastball in there for a called strike. So far, this has been a very good outing for this guy. Listen, he doesn't have the best stuff, but what he needs to do, and he's doing it right now, throwing strikes early, trying to initiate a lot of contact. The more pitches that the hitters see off this guy, the better chance they have to go ahead and square something up. So he needs to continue to attack early and get some quick outs, attack the strike zone on the first and second pitch. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Try to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Ground ball left side. Yeah, a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. They trail in this one 3 nothing. At the plate, Mitch Hanniger. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Fly ball out toward right field. Garcia has a read on it. One out. And now with batting. one away, the time for a look at our current standings, Randall. and you can see that these Richard. guys enter play down by just two games in the division race. Here's Randall Gritchick, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. Ground ball left side, defense set up perfectly. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. The first baseman, number 10. Man, this throw is and nowhere wins. close. And As we take a look at it, you can see it sail high and down the right field line of the bag. Not sure he rushed the thrower. He just lost the grip as it left his hand, but he's not going to be happy with himself about that throw. Edwin Encarnacion now, and that gets through for a one-out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting. I mean, there's Jeff no McDavid secret Kittle. right now. There's a fight Ryan. at the bat rack. Everybody Ooh. wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Standing in now, Ryan Healy popped him up. Wendell has a play. Two gone. Now batting. Stepping up now, the Omar Kettle. Narvaez. Two Omar. on, two out for Narvaez. him here in the third. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he's in safely to third. As also on the play, a run comes across to now score. Batting. The third baseman. He's been making it look real easy out there. Two at bats, two doubles. They might want to think about pitching around him the next time he steps in because he looks locked in for this one. Into the box Whoa. now, Kyle Seeger. 1 and 0 oh, the count. Now the 1 0. Oh. Lifted the other way to left center. Ready is in pursuit. But he can't get there, and that'll plate both runners as it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Tim. There's an interesting play right there. Base open. They elect to pitch to him. In now, Tim Beckham, as he takes a called strike at the knees, it's 0-1. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. 
Loud contact there, but it's well foul. Stays alive, still 0-2. The 0-2 once more. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Aguilar is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, one error in the inning, and one man left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Seattle leads this one six. We're back now as the Rays are preparing for their at-bats here in the third inning. And this lineup has been a huge bright spot for the ball club this season. They come into the day tops in the majors in team batting average. And talking with some of the players and coaches prior to the game, many of them told me that's something they take a lot of pride in. Batting average isn't as highly valued as it once was. But they said it's a clear indication that they're doing a lot of good things in the batter's box to help the team collect Ws. Guys? All right, thanks, Heidi. That will bring in Guillermo Heredia now. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going, so what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. The one two hit to short Beckham takes it in and Beckham's throw is in time at first one away settling in now number 67 he did not play last night but clearly back in the starting nine for this one first pitch on its way too high one and oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Now, when you've got a six-run lead out there, there's no reason not to go right at, guys. You have to keep attacking the zone. The 2-0. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Under this one is Gritchick, and there are two away now. Now battle. So two are gone here in the Tampa Bay third inning. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. First offering on its way. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball well outside. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. The 2-0. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. Santana is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They still find themselves down. Six zip. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it's one of those games where everything has come together for his hitters, from their approach to their swings to the results. It's all working. One key indicator of that, six extra base hits to this point in the game. Thank you, Heidi. Digging in to try it again, number 25. He's one for two in the ball game. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Oh, and he misses it. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your luck. Lo 
Into the box, Domingo Santana. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. A one count. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. Scooped up. The second for one to Aguilar for the double play. Now batting. Really good pitch for the pitcher right there. Down in the zone. Hits on top of it. Induces the ground ball double play. Standing in now, Mitch Hanniger. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Mine to the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Well, they've been treating him like a punching the bag back. out there. As the we take a look at the line, Randall. you can see that he's given up double-digit hits, and things don't look like they're going to get any better. He might not last much longer. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and the big right-handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box oh. next. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Well, that was a big two-out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons, the inning went from totally under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two-out rallies start. Henniger at second with two down. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Now batting, the first baseman. Edwin. Into the box, Edwin Encarnacion. He's working on a one for two game so far. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Popped him up. Wendell moving to his left. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mariners leave a couple. They lead it 6-zip. So here is Abisayo Garcia. He was a strikeout victim. For the Rays, the right fielder, Abisayo. Garcia. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Hey, this guy has been locating his fastball all game to perfection. Talking to a number of big league pitchers over the years, they'll tell you a well executed fastball with good location is still the best pitch in the game. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So it's a good start to the inning for the Rays as their leadoff hitter is aboard. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Now batting, Tommy Pham. First pitch on its way. Curveball just misses apparently. 1 and 0. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another. Why you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound has got his work cut out for him. One there. But they won't Yo, get two as he beats the relay to first. Digging in, Jesus Aguilar looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. The 1-0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Hey, that's a really good pitch right there, and that's one of those off-balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence 
when you make a guy look that bad. So hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the, the strike baseman. zone. And then what do you do? Yandy. You come in. That's a yeah. hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bad head out. Stepping in now, Yandy Diaz. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 0 1 on its way. One and one. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Ball and two. the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Pham leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Slapped hard the opposite way. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for Tampa. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Your Chaz Rowe gets the call to now pitch, pitch here, and he'll try to Ray. sort this mess out. Number He's going to try to at least eat a couple Chaz. of innings for his guys. Rowe. Stepping up to the plate, Ryan Healy. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. Right there for strike one. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a solo home run for Ryan Healy and even 20 home runs for him now thus far as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Oh man he got hurt his second pitch since coming in and he serves one up a reliever's worst nightmare and a big confidence boost to the lineup. Let's see if he can rebound in now Omar Narvaez now batting. Just Kevin. gets a piece of it. Oh, strike ball. one. Two Our hits body. and two trips for him thus far. Comes set and the 0 1 is taken for strike two. Seven runs, 11 hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Count remains at 0 2. This is pulled into right. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Now batting, third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Digging in once again, Kyle Seeger. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Rip down the first base line, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter, number digging one. in now for the Mariners, Tim Beckham. Yeah. He doubled earlier Beckham. in the game, one for two to this point. He's set, and the pitch hit sharply on the ground, and just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. Now he batter. broke out all ambush tactics. First pitch fastball middle in and he's able to drive that for a nice single. Into the box number 25. Owen won the count. Liner toward right center. Again a nice clean base hit is third of the game. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance 90 feet here now and move batting. up from second to the third. 
Domingo. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. A ball and a strike now. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now 1 and 2. 2 and 2. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. And he misses ball four. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Low for ball one. So far, two for three in this one. And he misses again, 2-0. and oh. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2-0, and oh, and the base is loaded. He basically... Does. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. But the Mariners add to their lead thanks to the solo home run. Halfway home here from Tropicana Field. It's the Mariners. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs, so the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All, All right, thanks, Heidi. The, the designated hitter. Robertson. From the stretch. In there for strike one. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. Behind 0-2 now. Now the 0-2 pitch. And there's a base hit on the line. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the fifth. Hey, guys, that's an excellent job right there. That's a back now foot slider. Good. Usually those are kryptonite for most batters, and he's Jordan. able to fight it off, keep his hands inside the baseball, and deliver a base hit. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. No balls in one strike. No runs, three hits. One error in the ballgame for Tampa Bay. And this one's in the dirt. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Waiting on it is Enniger. Makes the play one away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Now Opportunity Never now to look at some of the future Diego. plans for this Mariner organization oh, as our Betty, Road uh. to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. Riding into the box, Guillermo Heredia. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First delivery to him on the way. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Heredia has an eye-grabbing batting line, one that resides above the 340 plateau. 
His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. The 2-1. Pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And it's too late as he's in there. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Gets him to swing and miss there. Three and two. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the plate. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. Nothing doing for Tampa. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7-0. Dominic Leone gets the call now, to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. Number He's going to try to at least eat a couple Dominic. of innings for his guys. Leo. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Randall Richard, and he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. First pitch of the yep, inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. and Ball two. Ball two. Well, 2-0 two and oh now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack it, high fly ball out to deep right field. Garcia looks up, and it's gone as they add still another. Randall Grichik leaves the yard with a solo shot. 19th home run for him on the season as they've widened this lead to eighth now. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. You know, D-Row, looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Base, Let's see if this trend 10. continues. Oh, Edwin. Just off the outside that goal. time, laid off for a ball. No outs, nobody on. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And this is a ball to Encarnacion. Two and one now. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground now ball for the first out. Ryan. Stepping in, Ryan Healy. There's prior history in this matchup. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. One ball, no strikes to count. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Line towards center field. Beredia is there. Two gone. Now batting. The catcher. Omar Narvaez. In now. Omar Narvaez. He's two for three and looking for more here. He's set. Here it comes. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Oh, Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. The one one home is in there for strike number two. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Throw over to Aguilar at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. But the Mariners add to their lead thanks to the solo home run bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Mariners eight. The Rays nothing. Coming to the plate now. Number 67. And through Leading five up. turns Order at bat, Ray. they've only mustered a total That's of three hits. Not Number terrible, 67. but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant Order. bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up.
makes it third. And there's one away. Now that is. And that will bring up Joey Wendell. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And this will be taken in here by Beckham for the second out. Now batting. Right fielder. Ready for another Abisail. shot now. Abisail Garcia. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this. Only amassing a solid one hit in your entire nope. career. But pressure's off now. Maybe nope. he gets hot. Nope. One ball, no strikes the count. The 1 0 home. Ground ball sent back up the middle. To his left, Beckham. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Rays. They're on the short end of an 8 0 score. Back here at Tropicana Field in St. Pete. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Ready once again, Kyle Seeger. He was a ground out victim last time up. The third base. He's ready. Here's the first Kyle. offering. Seager. Bouncer up the middle. Reined in. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, number one. Digging in now, Tim Beckham. Yeah. His prior history Beckham. versus this. First pitch coming, here it is. And they start him out away with a cold strike. This is line to left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The batter, number 25. Digging in, number 25. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Wendell is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Ladies Mariners are down on four Jordan pitches the as the lead holds at eight to nothing. So striding in, and Tommy Pham. He'll the be race. the man to lead things off the here in the field. bottom of the seventh. Tommy. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been yeah. able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Here's the first pitch ball. to him. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. And this will bang up against the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Here's the fourth hit of the now game, that, and it's a good one. Puts a good swing on this thing, and it goes for a double. We'll see if they can build on it here. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jesus Aguilar. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Breaking oh, ball as this runs in on him, and he has to step out of the way that time. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. The 1 0. Fouled away. Pham stands at second with no outs. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. The runner from second scores as they inch a bit closer. Yeah, and they say better late than never, and that's about definitely the case the here. They thing. couldn't get anything Yogi. going through the first six frames. But they scratch a run across here in the seventh. We'll see if they can parlay that first run into something more. Now here comes the Mariner skipper out to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. 
tired a bit as he reached the seventh, but he's got a shot at the victory if his bullpen can help him out. Jason Bradford comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Number 60, Jason Bradford. Into the box now, Yandy Diaz. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0 is taken, strike one. A nice adjustment right there for him to get on top of that baseball and drive it to the corner. The first pitch he obviously tried to overthrow, got under it, and it sailed on him a little bit. And he nope. misses two and one. He's set and the two one pitch driven nicely into the gap. Aguilar isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And he's safe at the plate. And the gap shortens, but still plenty of work to do. Hey, there's a bullet base hit right to center field, D.R. Looked like there hitter. was going to be a close play at the plate. Good job of base running, Robert rounding third, Sam. making sure that he was able to get in to score. This is always one I wonder why the third base coach doesn't send more. You see more balls from the center fielder hit the mound and not make it all the way home with a lot of steam on it. Nice aggressive base running. Ball one. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. And this one's over at the knees. Two and one. Runner at third here, nobody out. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Really good late bite on that slider right there. Up next the best Tampa ones Bay. have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough Gordo. to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Standing in now, Travis Darno. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 1 0 is a fastball nope. that misses. A great case of a manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager is planting a seed in that umpire's mind to try to expand the strike zone so some of those borderline pitches start to go his pitcher's way. Here it is, the 3 0. Hit the other way out toward right field. Henniger is there. Let's see if they test it. And even with two outs now, they won't risk running on that arm out now there as he's forced to sit fielder. tight at third base. Guillermo. So striding oh, forward Redia. now, Guillermo Heredia. No hits to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Oh, and one count and the pitch and a slider is way low but a good job there to knock this one down can't get him to chase it's one and two I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and two to try to get a guy to go fishing but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Mm -hmm. 
line to the right side. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Outside of taking a ball in the seats, Dan, these were my favorite now knocks to get. Two outs, man on third, and you're able to upset that entire team, including that pitcher, with a late two-out ribby knock. And so frustrating from a... In now, number 67, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1-0. One, -oh. one and one to count. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Eighth inning coming up. The Mariners are on top, eight to three. Your Diego Castillo please. has been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 63, Diego. Castillo. At the plate, Domingo Santana. No hits in Mariners. three tries so far. He fielder. struck out once. Domingo. Now the pitch. Santana. Try to check it, and it's 0 and 1. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny B, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and the they batter. did damage with it. The right fielder. Man, they have really had Hanniger. his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Stepping in now, Mitch Henniger. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. and oh. One out, nobody on. Three and oh now. Rendell Gritchick is on deck. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, now you have to it. wonder if maybe it's personal. Fuel. You can't blame Randall. him for being angry, but Richard. he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. Striding forward now, the Mariners' cleanup hitter, Rendell Gritcher. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point, and it's fouled away. Henniger leads off first with one away. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Fouled off. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Wendell onto the grass. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading the first Pretty base. deep into the outfield to bring that Edward. one down. Thought the and outfielder might throw. call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Into the box, Edwin Encarnacion, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. And 0-2 count to Edwin Encarnacion. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Two out with the man at first. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Wow, I think he took now it for granted there a bit. Probably thought he had Fine. it in the bag, and he just lost concentration for a minute. Now his pitcher has to pick him up with two outs. 
standing in now, Ryan Healy. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. He went deep back in the fifth. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. Oh. The 2-0. Oh. The swing and a miss, strike one. Two men are on with two men out. Two balls and two strikes now. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two -two one more time is looked at and the count moves full. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Sinker runs outside to start the at-bat 1-0. and And a cold strike on the outside part of the plate. On the ground to the left side. And he'll go the short way to retire the shot. A couple of walks, but no damage. More coming up under the dome in just a moment. Your Dan Altavia is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 53, Dan Altavilla. So the lineup flips over and digging and in, Joey Wendell. He's 0 for 3 the so far, so he hasn't done much Joey. to help at the top of the lineup. One. A ball and no strikes. Altavilla, no strike. a right-hander standing just under 6 foot at 5'11". He was a fifth-round pick during the 2014 draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Hit softly down the line at first. But a foul ball, one and two now. Here's the one and two delivery. Line drive, base hit. Now batting, right fielder, Avisail Garcia. Now in the box, Avisail Garcia. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. And there's ball one. And down in the Mariner bullpen, it looks like a right hander's up to throw. Hit out towards second. A dive and he knocks it down. But they will not get it out on the play as he beats the throw to first and there are two on to start the inning now. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of the slump. But this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi-hit game and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Tommy Pham so far two for three in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. And a high strike to begin the at-bat, it's 0-1. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. It puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on swivel. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. This is what a power Number pitcher will do to you if he executes 21. his pitches. That Eight was two. a three-pitch strikeout. Oh, and with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. In now, Jesus Aguilar. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Last time through was a base hit. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Wendell on second. Garcia at first, one gone. 
Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Ugly swing right there. That pitch wasn't even close. You could tell this guy's been in the swing mode from the minute he walked into the batter's box. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one. Two Encarnacion, who's got it, and that retires the side. Ray's strand just the one. Can't make any headway into an 8-3 deficit. Into the box now, Kyle Seeger. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First offering on its way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Seeger behind with an 0-2 count. Still no balls and two strikes. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. The next 1-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Well, I'm glad we get another bat, look at that beauty one. of a pitch right Short there. Stop. You can't yeah. spot a sinker That's in a good. better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you could do with that. Textbook sinker. Inside, ball and that misses ball one. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ball game. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. A 1-1. One, one. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down the zone right there, below the knee. Offensive player was all over it. Stepping in now, number 25. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that's in there, base hit. And now, gracious, just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that will compound matters now even that, further. Wow, move. that error has got go. to really sting. Yeah. Anytime a run scores because of an error, it eats at you. But especially when he comes around from first, he wasn't even in scoring position when the play started. Oh, Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Grounded back up the middle. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Hey, good no, job of hitting right there, Debo. Well, runner on third, less than two hit. outs. All you want to do is put the ball in play. He did just that. Hits a grounder right up the middle that drives in a run. Yeah, took it right back at where it came from. All you're trying to do is avoid the corners. Hit something hard up the middle, whether it be on the ground or in the air. You're going to drive the run in. Ball one to start the at-bat. Santana stands at first with one out. That's ball and he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Ball even at two and two. Full count now, three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. The second for one. Relay to Aguilar. The double play, and that retires the side. So two runs on two hits, two errors in the inning, and no one left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. Ladies it's the Mariners 10 and please. the Rays 3. Now, Arotis Vizcaino, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take Arotis over the pitching duties here. Vizcaino. Standing in, Yandy Diaz starting things for his side in the ninth the as they face the, the improbable odds of trying Yandy. to come back in this one. Diaz. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Vizcaino, once an Atlanta Brave, he came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected.
fouled away. Now this is caught by Seeger down at the hot corner. And not what these folks were hoping for as he set down to start the home nine. Now that the designated hitter. The plate now for the Rays is the D.H. Daniel Robertson. Robertson. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And now a swing and a miss. And that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Comes set with the 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's one, one and two. two Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Number 25, ranging into shallow right. He gets there and oh, makes the play for the second out of the, the inning. Love it. Go, go. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ah, got him fishing that time. 0-1. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one, and this ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. 10-3 at the end of this contest. The Seattle Mariners swung the bats well with 16 hits. Jesse Biddle takes the win on the mound his second of the year. Juan Medeiros was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Ten runs on 16 hits. No errors. They left.